The fossils in my collection today look nothing like they did when they were first found. This series is a chance to look at the fossils before and after preparation and introduce you to my digital fossil collection that will feature many of the fossils that have been found on this channel. Well, I'm just going to make my bag even heavier if that's what I think it is. That looks like the edge of a Hildoceros right there. Uh, and if so, that's a big one. Uh, yep. Oh no, it's all there. All the way to the top here. So this is the top edge. So, there you go. That's how big that ammonite is. Top up here by my middle finger, up here. Bottom all the way there. And I got big hands, so uh, the beauty of the Hildy. Uh, added more weight to the bag. Great. And I know everyone's seen this before if you've watched the channel for any length of time. It's in one of my other videos showing off uh, the perfectly imperfect fossils because of this side. Um, so this is nice section that's missing. Some people would say not nice. Um, but that's probably from a lobster or crustacean burrowing into this at some point after the animal died and using it as a home. Um, but the Hildoceros is stunning itself. It's got this lovely pyrite preservation which just gives it this golden colour that you can see as well as this sort of lovely dark brown colour of the original shell where it's still preserved, particularly in the middle uh, on both sides and you can see that really nicely. Uh, it's got an original mouth border uh, that Mark Smith has very kindly tidied up during his preparation. Uh, so you can see uh, the inside's been hollowed out but that mouth border is fully original uh, as found. Uh, and that's actually how I like my fossils is ideally as found. I don't want them being messed with where possible. Uh, so even if they are not complete, like that little break where the lobster has been chewing on it, uh, I quite like it. It gives it a bit more character and tells us a lot more about the fossil and the environment that they're in at the time. As part of this series, I said I was going to be creating a digital collection of my fossils. Uh, and this is how it's being done. I'm using what's called a surface scanner. Uh, and as the name suggests, you use it to scan surfaces. In this case, this is an Artec spider. And what it does is it flashes a light lots of times a second. And each of those times it flashes a light, it's recording the reflection time. And from that, it's able to create a 3D geometry. Uh, and part of the other thing it's doing is one in about eight or 10 of those flashes, it's also recording a picture. So we get both the geometry from the flashes, but also the color, uh, which gives us a texture when we're creating the 3D models later. When we are happy with the first of these scans, so I did the very top to start with, which gives us the nice shape. The next thing I'm trying to do is get a good image of the size. If you look at the computer screen, you can see as I'm scanning bits being filled in of the scan. Uh, and by getting the side, this is going to allow me to stitch both effectively the top side as it currently is, as well as the bottom side, so left and right of the animal as it was alive. This process sometimes takes a little bit of time to get right. Uh, it's very easy to miss sections or have the software not track as well as you would like. So it does take a little bit of time and a bit of getting used to. And what's funny about the scanning is what you're actually doing is you're not looking at what you're scanning. You're looking at the computer screen to make sure that you're keeping this scanner at the correct distance. So as you see, I'm happy with the scans on one side. I'm now gonna get a fairly good image on the other side. You see how quickly this uh, software and scanner work to pick up the 3D geometry looking at the computer screen there on the right. And then I can just fill in all these gaps, the bits that I've missed, trying to get all the little bits and pieces that will also help to align the model both on this side plus with the scans that I got of the side of the fossil earlier. One final scan at the edges here. And there's a little bit of work of getting the intricacy around the mouth border there. That's what that little bit was, uh, the mouth border it's very difficult to see, but it's actually very visible on both sides. So it's a useful landmark for the software to try and use to align the two sides together. And I give 
just get another quick scan over the top of the fossil just to make sure that it's got all the bits together uh, and that it can align with the previous scan of just the top and that's the scanning done. And here is that beautiful model that we generated from those surface scans. So it's the entire fossil in 3D for you to be able to access, look at, download. Um, the one downside at the minute of Sketchfab is it has a lighting option and the lighting basically means that this side is beautiful and well lit the other side is a bit dark and gloomy uh, if you want to change that just jump into the model inspector and just go to the base colors and you can see what uh, was scanned the colors so this is the model in 3d in the correct colors uh, for you to be able to look at and see the link is in the description down below so do check it out